Hello everyone, Steve here, FXDD, coming to you from our headquarters in Seven World Trade Center. As always, allow me to remind you that foreign exchange trading does involve a high level of risk, so please stay tuned to the end of the video to read our disclaimer. Now today I'm coming to you to answer a question submitted to us by Michael. Michael wanted to know the mechanics behind buying and selling currency pairs, specifically which currencies you're using to purchase which. Now that's a great question, Michael. Please keep in mind that all contract values will be in United States dollars because that is the deposit currency of your account. Now let's say you want to buy a currency pair such as sterling dollar for a standard lot. What you'll actually be doing is purchasing 100,000 units of the base currency, which here is Great British Pounds, and selling the equivalent in the counter currency, which in this instance is United States dollars. Now for example, you will be holding Great British Pounds and selling off United States dollars. Now in this example, of course, you'll be speculating that the value of the Great British Pound is going to appreciate against the United States dollars so you can sell back the pair at a higher price and gain a profit. Now let's say for example you want to sell a currency pair for a standard lot. What you'll actually be doing is selling 100,000 units of the base currency, which here is United States dollars, and buying the equivalent in the counter currency, which in this instance is the Japanese yen. Now for this example, of course, you'll be speculating that the value of the United States dollar is going to depreciate against the Japanese yen, so you can then buy back the currency pair at a lower price and make a profit. I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at salesteam at fxcd.com. Thanks and have a great day.